Hey guys, this is Joel Webb with Lifetime Commercial Roofing and thanks for tuning in for another Tech Tuesday. Today's video is called It's All About the Butyl Tape, the importance of butyl tape on sanding seam and metal roofs. This is a two-part video. The first part is going to be Tim Dobson doing an inspection of first assembly down in Waco. Uh, it's showing some, a roof right now that does not have any butyl tape, it's having some major lead issues. The second part is going to be Cody, he's going to go through the proper installation of butyl tape and why we have to have it on metal roofs. I hope you enjoy. Look this way, you'll see seams, basically, where it looks like it's kind of lifted. Not exactly lifted, the way in this roof was installed. You notice here along your laps, there were no screws installed in your lap seams. So when you lift up this, you look underneath here, see that debris. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. I want to lift this up, see the debris. There's also no tape. There's zero butyl tape installed on this roof at all in its current state. You need butyl tape on every lap joint to prevent water, wind-driven rain from entering this building. Hey everybody, this is Cody with Lifetime Commercial Roofing and this is a Tech Tuesday video about our friend, the butyl tape. A key component in all metal roofing, especially our panel and standing seam metal roofing. It is a component that keeps out water in all of our joints and flashings. So I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to properly apply the butyl tape to these panels and show you how they're installed. Alright, so for the purposes of presentation, this is our leading edge of our roof and the panels will sit on it like this. You'll have to imagine that the roof has a pitch. So let's all use our imaginations on this. Um, this particular panel is rated for a 112 pitch or higher and the reason we can do that is because within this seam there's a heat applied butyl as it comes out of the roll former so it seals the ribs so we don't have to apply butyl tape in this area it's already there so the first thing that we'll do is we've got our roof edge we're going to take our butyl tape and apply it in line with where you're going to have your screws fastened. Kind of gummy and sticky, so we pull our, our cover. This is really difficult on a hot day. So we take our first panel, set it in place like this, take our screws, run them directly through not the table, but directly through this butyl line. So our next step, we're going to tear off about a three inch piece, and this is going to go tie into this strip of butyl tape up the rib and over the top. So press that in there, go up and over the rib, tear it off. And what that does is it creates a seal between this vertical leg and this vertical leg. So the water can't be driven in by the wind right at this joint. Okay, the next step we're going to set this panel in place and it's important that you line up the ends before you lock the panel in because once that butyl tape sticks, it's almost impossible to move the panel. So press it down into place, make sure your rib is locked and then proceed to screw the panel off again through the, the butyl tape line. And this method is primarily for uh, setting seam roofs that are fixed at the eave. Okay, here again is a 
another little tag. Tie it in here. Press it in nice and tight. Up and over the ear. Tear it off. And on with the next panel. So the next thing that you do after the roof is laid in and screwed in into place is we seam it with the hand seamer. So what it does is it folds this leg over, crimps the panels together so that they don't come apart in the wind. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to make that happen. Although you can imagine hand seaming an entire large roof would be rather time consuming. That's why they invented robots to do it. Okay, so in conclusion, this is a vital component of your roof structure. Without it, you're gonna have leaks. You will have leaks, I guarantee it. So in closing, you don't want to have just a beautiful roof. You want a beautiful roof. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video about butyl tape. I hope it was informative for you. If you liked that video, make sure that you hit like or subscribe or the bell notification so you can find out what we've got going on next time. We'll see you then. Oh,